Kylie Cheer here, host of the Witch Money Podcast. Join us each week as we bring you the best experts and top advice to help you make the most of your money. From property prices to budgeting, investment platforms to pensions, we'll be here to keep you informed. Here's a taste of what you can expect. If you had invested £100 in the fund three years ago, you'd have just £61 today. Gosh. Is it worth trusting a website that you don't know to save that 10p, that 20p. The good news is it does look like we're hovering around the top of the interest rate hike cycle. If I asked you what you earned here, you'd be absolutely horrified because we're told we should not talk about money. Make sure to join us for new episodes every Friday and I'll see you then. Hello and welcome to the Witch Shorts podcast. I'm Rob Lilly-Jones. On the podcast today, we're discussing a scandal involving our smart devices. These could be big appliances like washing machines and TVs, or the likes of smart doorbells. A recent witch investigation found many of these products are being sold with pitifully short support policies, or no mention of them at all, putting them, and us, at a security risk. Before we hear more, today is the last episode you'll hear from us, read by AI. We've been trialling the technology throughout January to see if it could help us bring you more episodes of Witch Shorts every week. We're still inviting your feedback on email, and you can get in touch at podcasts at witch.co.uk. That's podcasts at witch.co.uk, and thanks to those of you who have done so, so far. So now then, let's get to today's episode. If you've bought a smart product recently, chances are you were sold short in terms of how long it would be supported for. Our survey of more than 220 brands found the majority either update devices for a dismally short time or have no published policy. We saw market-leading Nest thermostats on sale despite official support seemingly ending years ago and Sony smart TVs for nearly £3,000 that don't indicate how long they'll get vital updates. An update policy is like a digital warranty. Unsupported devices can become a security risk as unfixed flaws emerge that hackers can exploit. But support is much more than that. It's a commitment from the manufacturer that the smart element of a product will continue to work. That's important because unsupported products could lose functionality or even become useless before their time. Appliances otherwise in fine condition could be thrown out, which is bad for the owner and the environment. We asked 224 brands in 37 categories if they had a clear updates policy. Just 31% clearly said how many years their products would be supported, 11% offered a vague policy. Some 58% didn't answer, refused to comment or didn't have a policy, that's more than double what it was in 2022, despite a published policy becoming a legal requirement from April 2024. Few companies support a smart product beyond its estimated life. Miele and Bosch are among the best with 10 years of support across all appliances. This is from the product being discontinued, so being no longer on sale rather than from launch. That's an important difference. Four years of support might sound good, but if the product came out in 2020 and you're buying it in 2024, it could already be unsupported. Smart doorbells had the highest number of clear policies, 50%, but that was down from 75% in 2022. For some brands, policies are mixed. Samsung's up to five years of support post-launch is good for a smartphone, but poor for a washing machine. A brand should be praised for putting a policy in the public domain, but what it says matters too. Some guarantee a minimum level, with the emphasis on minimum. LG, which made more than £50 billion in revenue in 2022, offers a woeful two years of guaranteed support from launch across many appliances. As of October, we had live online reviews for seven LG smart washing machines released over two years ago, and so presumably already out of officially stated support. Based on our analysis, a consumer inkjet printer should last 13 years. But HP only offers three years support from launch. To be fair, it's the only printer brand with a published policy. Some brands, such as Sony, Hisense and Arlo, that previously reported a policy said nothing in 2023. We know Apple offers good support. 
The iPhone 8 still gets security updates more than six years on from its launch in 2017, but the brand refuses to put clear policies into the public domain. Finally, 11% of companies gave a vague policy, such as for as long as possible or lifetime. If there isn't a defined end date, it isn't a policy. Having a bad policy isn't great, but saying nothing is arguably worse. And some brands have done so repeatedly in the three years we've run this survey. These companies sell you internet-connected products to wash clothes, cook meals and heat your home, apparently without a clear plan as to how long they will support them. These aren't small firms. Hoover and Candy, both owned by Hire, along with Beko and AEG, have never given clear policies. TP-Link and Huawei, both various devices, Canon, printers, and VTech, baby monitors, consistently say nothing too. From the 29th of April, it will be illegal to sell products in the UK that don't have published update policies stating a minimum time for support. Manufacturers will be breaking the law and face potential fines of up to £10 million, or 4% of worldwide revenue. Some brands did say they were aware of this and were working on a policy, but we think it's fair to expect more than an 11th hour decision on products that can cost £1,000 or more. Disappointingly, what the new law doesn't do is require third-party retailers to publish support policies. You'll need to hunt them down on manufacturer websites. Software support should be a key consideration when you buy smart products. We list policies, where we know them, on reviews and advice guides for 37 types of product. Why buy a £1,900 smart oven from Fisher & Paykel with no update policy when you can get a Bosch with a guaranteed 10 years after the product is discontinued? For a few product types, for example smartphones, we take into account update support when we consider which models to recommend as best buys. If manufacturers stop updating a phone, we remove any best buys. We'd love to do this for all smart appliances, but too many brands say nothing about their policies. If we penalised a brand for no longer officially supporting a washing machine, a brand that says nothing would get away with it. When all brands are forced to publish a policy, we will review the situation and look at how update support could be factored into our recommendations. If you do own an unsupported product, you're unlikely to be at immediate risk, but if you're concerned, you could disconnect the device from the internet, assuming this isn't essential to using the device. It's obviously not acceptable that you buy a product in good faith only to see it abandoned after a short time. But with help from the likes of which, and upcoming laws that will force manufacturers to be clear, at least you'll be able to buy a smart product with your eyes open and walk away from brands that are all too willing to walk away from you. Thank you to Andy Lachlan for that original piece, originally published in the January issue of Witch Magazine. And don't forget to tell us what you thought of what you've just heard too. A reminder that we used Eleven Lab's AI text-to-speech generator to bring you today's episode, and you can send us your feedback to podcasts at witch.co.uk. You can find more articles you'll find useful every day on everything from money and technology to home and garden advice by signing up to one of our many free email newsletters. You can do that at witch.co.uk forward slash newsletters. We'll be back next week for another episode of Witch Shorts, and thanks for listening. Witch Shorts was produced by me, Rob Lilly-Jones, while the exec producer was Grace Farrell. Last minute escapes. In the sun? What is the best airline? Oh, the worst airline. What happens if my flight is delayed? Or cancelled? Would I be put on a new flight? Or would I be refunded? What if it takes me days to get home? Hmm, benefits of a UK staycation. When life gives you questions, get answers at witch.co.uk.